player. And my player. My player. Defended by Green. Oh, 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 oh. Powell. He's guarded by Lee. Take that next leap and become a... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Lee outside. Searching for his first points in the game. Now my player takes the assist and lays it in. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I can finally show you my ultimate charge backlit build. Guys, this build is a ton of fun. It's very effective in the paint, especially in the 2v2 and 3v3 in the neighbor. I'm not sure in the pro I am because the team composition is a little bit different. But if you want to have fun in the neighborhood with your friend, this is totally a build I recommend for you. So Charge Buckley is a power forward, number 34 or 4, it depends. You want to use the defensive finishing pie chart for this. So you're going to have a nice rebound and good finishing too. About physical, you want to take this one, the vertical agility one. Is not totally correct with how Charles Buckley played and how Charles Buckley moved, but this is a little tweak that we're gonna use for make this speed very effective. So you're gonna be quick, and you're gonna have a very high vertical, and you're gonna dominate the paint. Trust me, guys. So you wanna start with 85 close shot, then you wanna max out driving layup, driving dunk, put the standing dunk at 80, and post look at. 50. So you're gonna have 17 finishing badge. This is gonna be okay for us. We don't. We can make even more if you prefer. But I found out that this is the best for me. About shooting, you wanna max the mid range shot and the free point. Free throw, you wanna have 65. Post fade 70. This is gonna give you a little bit of consistency in the mid range shot near the paint. You're not gonna. You're not gonna use this bit to knock down shot, guys. But you're gonna be very fast on the spin, very fast on the post move. So a nice step back with a mid-range shot, you can handle pretty well. Then ball handle and post move, you wanna max out, so you're gonna have five badge on playmaking that we're gonna use later. On defensive, you wanna max out all the rebound, both offensive and defensive. And then you have to play a bit, so we're gonna have 56 lateral quickness. You wanna have 50 perimeter defense. 74 interior defense because actually you're gonna match up with big man so you need a little bit of this still you want to use 60 overall and 60a on block so charge bucket was actually a good blocker and actually he average more than one steal one block per game don't worry if the block is just 68 with all the vertical you have you're gonna end the badge you're gonna block a tons of shot so body shape you want to have burly the high, this is very important, is 6'7". So, Charles Buckley was a 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six, kind of undersized power forward. Unfortunately, if you use the power forward, we can't go down up to 6.7. So, this is the minimum size we can use. And we're gonna stick with it. So, as you can see, the speed, acceleration and vertical now is very high. But, we're gonna max out all the weight. So. Speed is going to be 83, acceleration 74, vertical 87, and strength 77. So, like I said, Charles Barkley wasn't that fast and didn't jump that high. He was a good jumper, but not that high. But with this tweak, we're going to make this beat very, very strong. Especially, like I said, against all the very slow but big center and power forward that now you can find in the neighbor. Wingspan, I actually didn't find anything online because Charge Backlane is not in NBA 2K, so we can't find any comparison. I didn't find any data in, in the web. I, I tried to check the draft scouting, tried to check everything, but unfortunately I didn't find the Charge Backlane Wingspan. So I just put 84.7 just to give the 67 on block. That's it. So the takeover, you can take both glass cleaner or slasher. I prefer slasher because it's gonna make us better. So there you go, you have a similarity to Zion Williams. So we start first with the shooting badge and you wanna go with hot zone hunter on silver. That's gonna help you when you're gonna make that post step back. So all the jump shooting 
near the paint is gonna help you a lot to keep your consistency on that jump. On playmaking you want post spin and quick first step. Here you can play, you can put quick first step gold or post spin gold, depend on you, depend on your preference. I found out that probably quick first step is better online and post spin is better on my career. But then, like I said, you can check on those. On defending you want the Hall of Fame rebound chaser, you want the gold ring protection, the gold interceptor. This is gonna give you a nice defense and gonna help your steal and your block is gonna boost you a little bit. Then you want a bronze intimidator, clamp, worm and pogo stick. I found out that this is gonna help you a lot. Actually, if you prefer, you can keep it off clamp because we don't need them much and you can put, for example, on pogo stick or on warm. I use sometimes clamp, it's good for the perimeter ball handler if you want. So if you play a lot in the park, this is better. If you just play on Pro AM, just switch this and maybe put on pogo stick or intimidator or whatever you prefer. If you want, you can also all of fame the ring protector interceptor. So this is up to you guys. Lastly, we have the finishing badge. So on this one, you want the Hall of Fame contact finisher because you draw, you're gonna drive a lot on that. You want the Hall of Fame fancy footwork. It's gonna make you very quick and very fast on that. Then you want the gold giant slayer because you're six seven and you're gonna match against a lot of. 6, 11, 7 kind of player. Then you want silver on consistent finishing, silver on drop step, because this is gonna help you to be more fast. The finisher is gonna help you to make more layup, and then one back down punisher and one run trust finisher. I found out that these are the best badge I can find, that the, the best badge I like to play with and it's gonna give you a very nice tweak on this build. So guys, let me know what you think about this build, write down in the comment. If there is any part of this video that you like or found helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try to post more build and more content on NBA 2K. So thank you very much guys for sticking with me and see you next time.